XRP and Ripple is ready to explode in 2023. Just recently, the Ripple quarter four reports for 2022 just came out. We're going to go over that. We're also going to go over some XRP and Ripple news. Make sure to stick around to the very end because this is about to get very bullish. Now, if you haven't checked out my previous video where I talked about the LBRY versus SEC case, go check that out right now. But with that said, hit the like button and subscribe for daily Ripple and XRP news. Let's get right into it. So we're going to first start off with the Ripple quarter four reports. Scrolling down, we have some notable takeaways from here. The first one being the ODL on-demand liquidity, which was launched in 2018 by Monica, who is now the president of Ripple. This is some bullish news already. As you guys know, ODL, which is Ripple's crypto-enabled cross-border payment solution launched in France, Sweden, and Africa, now available in 40 payout markets. This is a good news and some bullish news because, as you guys know, Ripple is expanding globally, not just in the U.S. As I said, we, the U.S., does not, or actually Ripple does not need the U.S. But with that said, guys, as you guys know, ODL makes it fast and easy and cheap for Ripple customers to, you know, transfer money. That's what ODL is. But moving on, another notable takeaway is to, uh, total XRP sales by Ripple net of purchase were 226.31 million versus 310 the previous quarter. As you guys know, XRP is continue or not, Ripple is continuing to sell XRP mainly from the ODL. But that is some notable takeaways from the quarter four reports. Moving on, right here, guys. In the reports, it did say by the end of quarter four, 2022, XRP spot markets experience a general downtrend by way of average daily volumes, currently at at roughly 700 million, down from 1.1 billion in quarter one, 22 or 2022. As you guys know, in 2022, we did enter this bear market. Well, we just now are kind of like exiting out of this. As of right now so we still are in a bear market which is why we would expect volumes to be low so we should not be very nervous and concerned about this because in every bear market there is going to be low volume because people are not going to be buying as you guys can see in here it says btc was down 15 percent from quarter quarter three 2022 and 30% from quarter four 2021 which is very telling as I said in a bear market there's not going to be a lot of volume because people are not buying so guys don't be worried about that because 2022 was the bear market as you guys all know we've been suffering now another news right here from the quarter four reports ripple released its UK policy paper or white paper outlining its regulatory ambitions to propel the UK toward global crypto hub status by driving consumer protection, assessing crypto assets according to different risk uh, profiles, ultimately growing the industry in the UK. This is some bullish news because as I said, they are expanding globally. They're not relying on the US. They're in Africa. As you guys know, they're in 40 different, 40 different payout markets sweden france much more guys and once the sec versus ripple case is over they're going to be in the u.s very soon probably the next day guys to be honest because as you guys know there's a lot of banks and institutions already waiting to work with ripple once the case is over guys i'm telling you once this case is over which is expected in 2023 it's going to be very bullish for ripple and xrp now, moving on, in quarter four of 2022, we did see 228,000 new wallets, which is very bullish because it's still growing, as you guys know, as you guys can see. Right here was quarter four of 2021. That's when it was, we were in the peak of the bull market. And as you guys can see, it was 624,000. Quarter three, we were in a bear market 
which was at 125,000. But we did pick up in quarter four because, as you guys know, people are learning more about crypto. They're entering the space, which is good for XRP because once this bull run, this next bull bull run does occur, I expect the number of new wallets to be at one million in one in the next report once we enter a bull market. Now. Moving on, guys, we can see from here some of the reports from the ODL cells, as you guys can see, from quarter four. If you want a screenshot, go screenshot it, but there's not that much to talk about on here. Now, moving on to some XRP and Ripple news. Well, John E. Deaton, who was the person who was able to convince the judge that LBRY was not a security. Well, he is talking about Coinbase relisting XRP on the platform. As you guys know, Coinbase was not obligated to take off XRP, but they were scared. That is why they did, you know, delist XRP on their platform. As you guys can see, and From this, a lot of people are tweeting in the community saying that they should and that X or Coinbase, you know, customers should demand that XRP be relisted on the platform. What do you guys think? I think this is very bullish. I think they should because, as you guys know, LBRY did settle with the SEC, which was big news. This meant that they were not a security. As you guys know, later on, LBRY tweeted, Coinbase should relist XRP. Under the SEC versus library stand standard, XRP sold by secondary holder is not a security. That is very true, guys. What do you guys think? Should Coinbase do it? Obviously, yes. But the question is, will they do it? I don't know guys I think they should personally it would be very bullish because a lot of new people will start buying XRP because it's very easy to use compared to other crypto exchanges now some more news guys they are talking about ripple serving CBDCs for billions of people worldwide a Stanford uh, professor by the name of Daryl Duffy shares that despite rapidly becoming a global phenomenon, CBDC still face multiple setbacks. And he told, he said that Ripple will help. It says already off. It says notably, Ripple already offers a broad suite of solutions that central banks can use to deploy their CBDCs efficiently. The fit tech company already has the government of Bhutan on its roster of clients and expects more to follow. As you guys know, this would be very bullish. It says right here, they would need to educate well as incentivize citizens on the benefits of yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, public blockchain ecosystems like Ripple with CBD's capabilities also have a role to play in citizens' education. Guys, this is very bullish for Ripple and XRP because if this happens, it will be used worldwide. I'm talking about billions of people using ripple and xrp which will be good for the coin right now guys i am bullish right now on ripple and xrp because they are continuing to work and build their company as you guys know and even during this you know this case between ripple and the sec they are still managing to move forward not care and keep building on the company which is very bullish which i like but with that said guys make sure to hit the like button subscribe for daily xrp ripple news if you haven't checked out the lbry case go check it out right now but with that said peace